Greg Cole, before we get to your individual stock picks, what's your view of the overall market right now? Are we overvalued, undervalued, just right? Where are we? Stocks are expensive around the world. The United States trades for a 10-year high forward PE, Europe a 14-year high PE, and even in Japan, valuations have risen dramatically under Abe. Those three regions are about 90 to 95 percent of the world's market cap, and all three are expensive. All right, well, one stock you like over Perkins is Oracle. Now, they missed Wall Street estimates, I think, on the top and bottom line in their first quarter last week. I think Larry Ellison's even going to be taking a pay cut because of it. So tell me why you like the stock. Well, at Perkins, we look at the downside risks very clearly, first of all, in the analysis. And at Oracle, you have the world's largest database software company. They have very entrenched relationships with their clients. 70% of the profits are from maintenance cash flows. Stock trades for 14 times earnings and has a net cash balance sheet. And you also like CIT. Now, this financial company has fallen with the rest of the uh, financial sector. I think it's down around 9 or 10% so far this year. Tell me why you like this one. CIT Group is very inexpensive, 75% of tangible book, 10 times earnings. And the new management team is pursuing a sale of their aerospace business, which we believe will unlock value from a sum of the parts perspective. All right. And then finally, you are a fan of Hyundai Motor, the Korean company. Automakers have not done well over here. Uh, a lot of people worried about self-driving cars uh, and other things. So tell me why you want to stick with Hyundai. Hyundai is a top five global auto company. They recently took the top two spots in the JD Power quality survey. Very, very inexpensive stock. Five to six times earnings, well under tangible book value. All right, and then finally, how do you make sure that these stocks are value propositions as opposed to value traps? You have to think about that carefully, both from a qualitative standpoint, understanding the various classic types of value traps that are out there, such as a cheap on peak earnings situation, and you look at scripting a downside scenario so you understand what the risks are. All right, well, thanks a lot for coming on and talking about these names. Great, Cole. Thank you. And thank you for watching the street.